Hello, my name is Latasha and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Friday Reads and go over everything that I read in this last week and what I'm currently reading. Um, this week I did not get as much read as I had hoped because I ended up getting sick and it went through the whole entire house. So there was a lot of just resting and sleeping. So not as much reading was done, but I was able to participate in the weekend with Agatha and I read my first Agatha Christie book, which was Unexpected Guest. And that one I really enjoyed just the whole premise of the book. I really enjoyed just learning Agatha Christie's type of writing style and how she tells a story. Most books that I read are usually mystery thrillers and not just straight mystery solving crime books. So it was a nice change in what I normally read and I really enjoyed it. So Unexpected Guest was the only book I was able to actually complete reading this week. Um, I did start Five Little Pigs as well during the weekend with Agatha and I am about halfway through this book which is about a wife who poisoned her husband. She went to jail and now the young daughter is coming back 16 years later to try to prove her innocence. I'm hoping to get that one finished this coming up week. I am also listening to the Bone Code on audiobook. That one's a little bit slower. Um, I usually listen to it in the car, but I can't really listen to that one with children in the car. So I haven't been listening to that one as much, but I plan on having that one done within this next week or the final week of March. And I don't have too much to actually update for my reading this week because I was sick and not reading as much. So I decided to also just add in a fun tag that I saw today from Gloria, from Gloria Z. Thompson's channel. And it looked like a fun tag, so I decided to do it as well. It is called the Quarter Year Crisis Book Tag. And the original channel who did this tag was Royson's Reading. So I'm gonna link both of the channels below, the original channel and then the channel that I saw this tag on. So there are nine questions for this tag and we'll go ahead and go through those. So the first one is, how many books have you read so far this year? So I have currently finished reading 18 books which isn't a whole lot compared to most booktubers, but it is a lot for me. So I'm excited on where I am in my reading journey so far this year. And I plan to hopefully keep this consistency throughout the year. I am hoping to get to 100 books by the end of the year, but we will see if I can actually get that done. The second question is, have you already found a book you think might be 2022's favorite book? So, so far I have loved The Last House on Mula Street. This is definitely my top book for the books I've read so far this year. It is going to be hard for me to find one that can top that book. I'm very much into the twists and turns and just being surprised while reading and this one definitely hit all of those marks and by the end of it, it was just my mind couldn't even comprehend everything that had just happened. So that is definitely the one that is at the top of my list at the moment. I mean, hopefully I find a book that could beat that one just because that means I would have another great book that I have read this year. So far, The Last House on Needless Street is my number one book. Number three is any one star books or least favorite books of the year. So this might be an unpopular opinion, but my least favorite book that I've read so far this year is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I know a lot of people love the books written by this author, and I'm not big into the romance books, 
But even with that said, this book just didn't do it for me. And it's just at the bottom of my list so far. So the next question is number four, which is what is your most read genre so far? According to Storygraph, my most read genre so far is thriller and fantasy. I'm not too surprised by the thriller. It's what I generally gravitate towards. But I was surprised that I have actually read that many fantasies so far. I didn't realize I had been reading fantasy as much as I have been. Um, not disappointed in it. It's just it, that was surprising to me. And maybe I like fantasy a little bit more than I had thought. Number five is a book that surprised you. So this one is definitely going to have to be His Runaway Lady. Now I went into this one knowing that it was going to be a romance book and I again don't normally read romance so I didn't go in with super high hopes for it but I actually did enjoy the whole process of reading this book. Uh, I only gave it a three stars at the end just because there was still some problems with it but just in general I enjoyed the read. It was a slow read for me and I was surprised that I actually enjoyed reading a romance. Number six is a book that's come out in 2022 already that you want to read but you haven't. So I actually do want to read The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley and I know a bunch of people have put out videos about reading this book so far so I did see some negative feedback on the book but I have seen some positive as well. So that is one that I do want to pick up. I'm not sure exactly when I will be reading that one, but I hope to get to that one soon because I did like her other books. So definitely want to read The Paris Apartment. And number seven is a goal that I've made that I am succeeding at. So I went into this year wanting to start a booktube channel. I wasn't sure how it was going to go. And I did start off with one video a week and I've slowly moved into two videos a week and even though I at the moment only have 12 subscribers I feel like I'm succeeding at actually getting content out reading my books and getting a lot more comfortable in front of the camera and 12 subscribers is great for me right now I hit double digits and my daughter went and got me cupcakes to celebrate the double digits so that is definitely a goal that I have succeeded at so far this year. Number eight is a goal that I've made that I need to focus more on. I think that would probably be me reading more genres I don't normally read. So I have read more fantasy and more romance than I normally read, but I do want to start reading more sci-fi. I've noticed I haven't really picked up too many sci-fi books since I started reading and I still am picking up a lot of thriller mystery books, which I'm not upset that I'm picking those up because I know I'm going to most likely enjoy those, but I do want to start fitting in other genres more consistently, like sci-fi. Um, probably read a little bit more romance books because I did like His Runaway Lady, even though I didn't like It Ends With Us. I feel like there has to be some other books that I would enjoy in the romance genre and I'm pretty sure I've liked all of the fantasy books that I've read so far so add more romance that I actually enjoy and add more sci-fi if there's any recommendations out there for romance that would fit the his runaway lady type style and not as much of the Colleen Hoover style please leave them in the comments below. I would really like to find more romance books that I enjoy. And the last question is number nine. Any new to you booktubers, bookstagrammers, booktubers? I wrote that twice on my paper. Um, I think I meant book talkers for 2022 that you would recommend. So some of these that I wrote down aren't new to YouTube, but they are new to me. Most of the people I watch on YouTube are 
new to me because I just recently started getting into watching booktube channels. Um, I don't really do Instagram too much. I have just started my own Instagram, which I will link down below. There's maybe like three pictures on it, but I hope to start um, adding content to that more regularly and I don't do TikTok. So the first one is Gabby from Gabby Reads. I really enjoy all of her content and she has a lot of the thriller mystery books that I normally like reading. So I really enjoy watching her videos and she has been around since 2015. So she's been on YouTube a lot longer than most of the YouTubers that I watch and definitely recommend watching her if you don't already. And another one that I watch who has been on YouTube for a while is Gloria at Gloria Z Thompson, which is where I got this book tag from. It looks like she started making the booktube content about nine years ago. So that's been a while as well. Her stuff is great. I love watching all of her videos. And then two newer booktubers that I really enjoy watching are MJ from Reading This Life. And she started her channel in October of 2021. So very recent still. All of her stuff is very uplifting and just fun to watch. I enjoy all of her videos that she puts out. Also Angie from Angie Henderson. She started her booktube channel in December 2021 and I also love all of her content. She leans more towards historical fiction, which I don't read too much historical fiction. I tend to like to watch videos about books I don't normally read and just seeing other people's opinions on them. I really enjoy watching her videos. I actually started watching her through her homeschool YouTube channel and then she ended up making a booktube channel as well. So I've been watching her for a while. I will link all of their channels down below as well. And those are all the questions for the quarter year crisis book tag. I will have a, another video for you guys up on Tuesday and I hope you guys have a great weekend and thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.